All right. We're live here. As you can see, the water is coming on up into the home. I got two eaters here. They're getting it in. Uh, I'm getting ready to go now to the porch and uh, place a sheet, tie a sheet off on the uh, porch here. Here's the water. Here's the water coming out as you can see. And if you look at the home tour. I'll be right back, guys. Stay up on the uh, vent. So I'm getting ready to uh, tie this uh, sheet off on the, on the door here. So if any boat rescues come, they can see that uh, we're still in the home here. I'm just going to tie this sheet around here. We'll tie this sheet around here. And then when they come through with the boats, this is the indicator that somebody's in the home. There you go. Sheet on the front door. Let you know somebody's in the house. As you can see, there's a mailbox there. I actually have about two or three mailboxes on my porch here. They're going to float it in. Some gas cans. And uh, this is an eight foot fence here. And as you can see, maybe two feet left. Down here, maybe a foot left. And uh, as you can see, my house is a little higher than everybody else's. The mailbox there. So here's the mailbox that done floated in on my porch. Uh, let's see. Vehicle there. Here's a home right here. That's easy up to their windows. I got coolers and all kind of stuff in the backyard. So yeah, that's a it ain't getting no better. It ain't getting no better out here. So one of the G-rides there, yeah, looking good. So yeah, so we're all set. We're all set. We got the uh, we got the sheet up on the door. It's indicated that uh, uh, we need rescuing. So uh, water is coming in the house. That's the blood right there. So I'm gonna have to go on out here and turn, at this point, I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn the electricity off at the breaker box. Can't risk that water getting into that Oh, the house next door? house next door. I guess that's what a six foot fence there. Back of that house. Another fence there. We use these fences to tell pretty much how high the water is. So yeah, it, 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 it's real out here in these streets. So yeah, I'm gonna have to let y'all go. I'm gonna have to turn off this power. Oh, that's somebody's satellite dish floating right there, y'all. Can y'all see that? Somebody's satellite dish? Oh, no, that's a chair. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting in that chair. 
Oh, this chair is floating on down the, the river way. All right, well, I gotta let y'all go. Paw Patrol getting ready to turn off. Little baby people ain't gonna like that too much. Yeah, you see that? You see, you can just tell how fast the water's moving by the speed of this chair. So we're ready. We got the we got the sheets tied off at the post. So uh, when they come through with the boats, we'll be ready to ride. We got our bags packed, and uh, we're gonna be ready to go. These vehicles, other people's vehicles. That water's almost up to the, the window on that car. Who's completely submerged? Uh, there's another truck out here. Yeah. All right, I gotta let y'all go. Listen, y'all be easy. Keep us in your prayers. Uh, pray for Texas. Pray for Houston. Uh, pray for the Saints everywhere. There's a lot of property damage. And uh, we want to keep the uh, death toll real low. And uh, the Bible says the prayers of the righteous avail as much. And uh, we'll believe in God for that. Uh, keep us in your prayers. God bless. Yeah, we still got power. I'm getting ready to actually shut the power off so it don't run into these electrical sockets. No, I don't trust that, Gwen. I don't need no electricity running through these waters. So. Okay, the natives is getting restless. Evans, y'all still at the airport? Yeah, just. No, this ain't Bishop Brian. This is little brother Brian. I serve as a, uh, I serve as a deacon on the, uh, at the church in Usher, Junior Usher. No, this is North Houston. Okay, listen, the rain is falling. I got to cut this power off. Talk with y'all later. Keep us in your prayers.